Guys, I've had the car for about a day now, and man, do I love this thing. Essentially what it is, it's my Genesis just on steroids, but like a manageable amount of steroids. Steroids to the point where it's like, okay, you didn't overdo it. So just to give you a little overview, my Genesis Coupe is a 3.8 liter V6. This Q60 is a three liter V6. However, it is turbocharged. So the upside to that is power. <laughs> it's the easiest way to put it. Um, acceleration in this thing is absolutely amazing as long as you're in sports mode. So there's a little switch down here that lets you switch between modes. You have a driver mode or sorry, a personal mode, which you can set yourself. Next down is gonna be sport, then standard, eco, and snow. So basically the difference between each one is personal. You can set that how you want it to be. Uh, you have options to set the steering stiffness uh, as well as the transmission response uh, and the suspension, uh, depending on the model or uh, trim level. But yeah, basically, Accelerating in this car is, is absolutely amazing. That's by far my favorite thing. By far. By far my favorite thing. Like, I have no words for the difference between this and everything else. It's absolutely ridiculous. Basically today, I'm just driving around looking for time to kill basically um, I'll get on the parkway at some point in time when I'm not being told by a cop because uh, yeah that's happening right now for some odd reason so overall view of the cabin is starting out with the interior uh, and then basically moving outward so this car has leather Leather on leather on leather on leather. Everything's leather. I think there's like two plastic pieces in this entire car. It's ridiculous. Like the only plastic pieces are, well, other than what has to be plastic and can't be leather, like door handles um, and screens and shit, uh, is a little bit of trim in here and this guy. Everything else is leather. Leather stitch, uh, or sorry, leather wrapped, double stitches these seats are so comfortable they have adjustable side bolsters that will go in and out uh, as well as I forget exactly what that part of the chair is called but it's the uh, front piece of the chair that will either lift up or raise down kind of give you like either a more relaxed type of style of seat or more of a uh, bucket style of seat so it will either like scoop you down in or just like stay flat uh, right now I have it basically set to the maximum of each. I have it set all the way in on the side bolsters and I have the uh, part of the front part of the seat raised all the way up so I'm like sitting inside of a bucket. So essentially I've converted the seat into a bucket seat. Uh, it's absolutely amazing though. It feels so good. Like <laughs> it's just so much support because I have long legs and the thing is when you have long legs and you get in a car well, a low car or cars in general that aren't SUVs, your legs tend to sit like more vertical. They don't lay flat. So I'm actually getting support under my thighs, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love the seats. I love everything about this car, except for I still wanted to get my Corvette. That's the only thing. <laughs> if it wasn't for me being tricked into thinking I was getting a Corvette, I would I would be head over heels with it, in love with this car like just completely Florida people there's this little thing on the left side of your steering wheel it's called a turn signal uh, <laughs> it's what you use to you know indicate that you're well going anywhere other than the direction of which your lane is traveling so what that means is if you need to get over there then you indicate that you need to get over there and then you get over there not, oh, hey, I need to get over here. Or, hey, 
I need to make this turn across three lanes and fucking cut across three lanes. Like, I can't believe, like, literally within the first 30 seconds of driving on the streets, this is my first time driving myself around Orlando. Every other time I've been here, I've been here with family. My dad has driven, other family members have driven. But this is my first time driving around and it scared the living shit out of me how bad people drive here. That would make sense why every other car I look at is all the way fucked up. Has dents and shit all on the side of the car. I mean, except for the nice cars, of course. Ooh, the Challenger. So pretty. Uh, anyway, I got sidetracked. <laughs> but yeah, like, zero to 60 in this thing. I'd have to say it's around, like my car does zero to 60 in six seconds stop. Uh, I'd have to say this one's around five, four and a half seconds. Uh, I don't know, when I get a chance, I'll see. I'm gonna go from a very steady stop. The other thing about this car is that the amount of torque it has is absolutely crazy. So, I was on the parkway, going about 40 miles an hour. My lane opens up. Naturally, being in a car like this, only having it for a short amount of time, I floor it. Um, the interesting thing is, is when I floored it, I got wheel spin in, uh, I think I was in fourth gear at about 3,000 RPM. I did not know it was possible to do that in a car that wasn't a like extremely high performance car. But I mean, yeah, that was was very interesting. <laughs> but you know, this trip turned out not as bad as it started out. Cause man, I tell you when. This trip started out yesterday morning. I woke up happy like, let's go. Let's get everything filmed here on the way to the airport, my journey, all that, you know. Get to the airport, get to Florida, get the car, do the review, drive around, have some fun. Uh, and then literally within the first five minutes, shit just starts falling apart. Fucking camera breaks. Uh, one of the two cameras break. I have to go to Walmart uh, to pick up a GoPro while I'm in Florida, which is what I'm filming on right now. I left the GoPro attachment to my suction cup mount at home, so I had to go and buy another suction cup mount. It's just problem after problem after problem. But honestly, I have to say, the things that are making me happy is the fact that it's hot as hell. I love heat. And the scar, man car if you're having a bad day just get a q60 that's that's the best way for me to put it if you're having a bad day just get a q60 so i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to get notifications on whenever i drop another video and stay awesome see you in the next one all right, this is a pull from 15. 60. <laughs> uh, that was amazing. Wait. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, I turned to the right place. <laughs> I almost got fucking lost. <laughs> uh.